Hey guys, today I'm going to be repotting some of my carnivorous plants. I have some that are going to be going into a peat moss, and then I have some that are going to be going into just a sphagnum moss mix. So I'll take you down below and show you how it's going to go. So I'm going to start with one of my Sarancina plants. Get this into a little bit bigger of a pot. Start by taking it out. go. As of right now it's in, looks like it's in just a sphagnum moss mix, but I'm going to put some peat moss and perlite along with it. Alright, so as you can see it's got a good amount of roots on it, a lot of roots for this size of a plant, so I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. This is actually the first time I've taking it out of the pot. So I'm going to put it in a little bit, pretty pretty big plant so hopefully it can start to spread out on its own and not be so confined in that small plant potter that it was in. So, scoop and I'm going to start with a my mixture. Like I said, it's just perlite and some peat moss. Take a little bit of a hole for it and pop those roots in. Just add some sphagnum moss around the edges just to keep the humidity in. Just a little bit, not a lot, just kind of keeping that humidity in around the plant. <clears throat> Alright, that's one down. As you can see it's nice and wet planted up. I have this sphagnum moss all along the top and now it has lots and lots of room to grow. Okay, up next I have one of my Nepenthes to repot. Got a couple little pit pitchers on it. A couple new ones coming in down here. I'm going to put them in this pot right here. right in the middle. And I'm using a similar peat and perlite mix that I used for the Sarancina. And I'm going to take a little bit of that sphagnum moss, pack it in all around him. Alright, that's it for the little Nepenthes, all potted up. Next I've got one of my little butterworts, it's actually a big clump, you can see there's a whole lot of different clumps in there, a couple different plants, but I think if I just put it into a bigger pot, hopefully those will start to grow on their own a little bit. And I want to separate them, just kind of give them a little bit more room to grow. I'm just going to take the sphagnum moss off. I'm going to leave the soil that's around the roots, or a little bit of it at least, just to keep it together. Actually, I 
think. Make a little mound in the middle. Have it situate up on that. Try not to bury any of the leaves, but it's kind of <clears throat> a little difficult. pair of scissors just to pack that soil into the roots. Alright, it's looking a little dirty right now, but once I give it a good water down, it should sit in there a little bit better. Alright, last but not least, I've got one of my Drosera plants that I'm going to be repotting up. Alright, for this one, since that butterwort was a little bit of a challenge because all the roots are underneath of it, I'm going to make a little bit of a mound right in the middle that kind of sticks up. So when I put the plant down, it kind of smashes into the roots that way. And then I can fill in on the sides a little bit easier. There we go. in the middle of that pot. Alright, that went a lot easier than the butterwort, that's for sure. I'm trying to get any of the leaves that are buried and try and lift them up a bit. All right. That looks like it's good. Small little planting in there, but now it's got plenty of room to kind of just spread along. So I'll show you the ones I potted up. And I actually already put my Sarancina over on the growing rack. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and in a couple weeks or months when these start to grow, I will show you an update on these guys.